You should be as afraid of him as I am. Who are you talking about, Bane? No! Frickin' Ben Affleck directed the Justice League movie! I'm gonna put bad nipples on Batman again. <laughs> oh hell no, there's no justice in this movie. What up, big kids? Here's your big review of the Dark Knight Rises Movie Masters John Blake Bat Signal Wave Action Figure. Here we got the John Blake figure, and I have to say, Mattel did an excellent job on the likeness to Joseph Gordon Levitt. I really think it does look like him. Um, really nice paint apps on the hair. You can see the shading in there, and it just looks really great. Um, I got this figure just like with Ra's al Ghul at Comic Con. Uh, it should they should be starting to show up. Um, at store, so keep a look at him. But yeah, I really like this uh, a lot. Like all the details on him, like his badge right there. He has the walkie talkie that he had in the movie. This is before he became a detective, obviously. But um, and the detail in here, like as the Gotham City, um, you know, uh, emblem right there for the police department. But otherwise, like the lower part is what we've seen before from Ra's al Ghul, Joker. You know, other movie masters figures, the same body, just like this part, you know, you can take it off if you want to, but then it'll look weird, so I wouldn't recommend it. But yeah, like I said, I really like the, the head sculpt. Articulation, John Blake's head can fully rotate as well as go up and down. Arms can fully rotate, go in and out, rotate at the uh, bicep right here, bend at the elbow, rotate at the wrist. He does have the ab crunch forward and back. doesn't go back that much, but it goes forward a little bit. Full waist articulation. The legs go um, in and out, just like those little hinge joints that Mattel is known for. Back, uh, forward and back that much. Rotate at the upper part of the leg. Bend at the knee. And his ankle is pivot forward and back. Uh, no really ankle pivot at all, but still, you know, pretty good articulation. John Blake doesn't come with any accessories, but he does come with a piece to complete your bat signal. He comes with the, the front of the bat signal, which, um, you know, it's actually uh, right there. So what's cool about this that I, I like that Mattel did, it's actually a magnifier. Uh, it's magnified glass with a really nice emblem, so when you project it, it really projects like I showed in my Ra's al Ghul review. I really like that Mattel did that. It wasn't just, you know, a clear, you know, plastic or anything. It actually, and it's on right now, it actually shines really good, so I really like that a lot. Batman, I know who you are. No, you don't. I know you're Bruce Wayne. Oh, damn it. I thought the voice would be unrecognizable. Well, I know who you are. You're Dick Grayson. No, I'm Robin. Wait. But Dick Grayson is Robin. No, my name is Robin. Wait, but I thought you were a dick. Size comparison time. So here you can see John Blake is in good scale with other movie masters like Batman. He's slightly shorter. You can see he's about a standard six inch height with Marvel Legends Extremist Iron Man. A little bit shorter than the DC Universe Classics Batman. Now, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen The Dark Knight Rises, now you know that the, uh, John Blake is actually revealed to be Robin. And he's actually um, a really key uh, part of the Dark Knight Rises. He will probably be the one that becomes either Nightwing or the new Batman. I can't see him becoming Robin because why would you use your first name? But anyway, the figure I, I think is essential to have to not only to complete your bat signal, which I, like I said in my Ra's al Ghul review, it, I, I, I can't say how cool that bat signal is, but I think he's a really cool character. I really liked him in the movie, really loved Justin Gordon Levitt, and now you have a figure if you want to do Inception or anything like that. Plus, um, I can see people buying this figure and making custom army builder for cops and stuff, so it's really cool. They can definitely use this body again uh, so much. So, But like I said, Mattel did a great job on the head sculpt. If you love the Movie Masters line like I do, this is definitely a must have for your collection. I, I highly recommend it and you can find it in stores now. Hopefully you can find it in stores for 15, 18 bucks around. But good luck finding it and um, yeah, for more geek news reviews and more, check out bkbn.net. I'm Sean Long, member of Celebrate Renewum in a big way. Where does he get those wonderful toys? He gets them at AlterEgoComics.com Excuse me, he was saying he gets them at AlterEgoComics.com <laughs> For the latest and hot toys, sideshow collectibles, replicas and more, visit AlterEgoComics.com They take PayPal, pre-ordered and they lowest prices on the net. Lowest price for hot toys? You must be joking. Do I look like I'm joking? Go to BKBN.net! Go to BKBN.net! So I get to be the new Batman? Yes, I'm retired. 
Are you sure that you didn't die at the end and this is not just a dream within a dream within a dream? What? That sounds stupid. The next thing you're going to tell me that you're an alien from another planet. Uh, I was thinking about instead of being called a Batman, maybe I'll go by my legal name, Robin. That sounds stupid. Okay, how about Red Robin? Yum, but that's also stupid. Okay, how about you will call me Commander Cobra? No, that's also stupid. How about Nightwing? Not bad.